both of these projects have been going on for the last few years, but this year we had a lot of support from the university and that really, really helped. Uh, with the girls in science, we had more girls attend, we had labs participating, we hope next year we have more, but we had a lot of um, feedback from parents who really appreciate the unique environment where their girls can be challenged, where they can um, explore their interest uh, and really just enjoy science for, for the curiosity of what science is. With the Women in Science initiative, we had um, the Women in Science Day in February to celebrate the UN's International Day for Women and Girls in Science. Um, this was a really great day. We had speakers from several different fields of science nominated by their, their colleagues or their heads of department. Um, and then we had a discussion panel at the end of the day. And what came out of that was basically two main things. One, that we need to sort of raise awareness about um, what the gender equality is in Denmark and especially in, in the sciences. Um, and also just awareness about our biases, um, both as men and women. What we get each year for feedback on this day is that we call it Women in Science, which um, is because it's the UN's International Day for Women and Girls in Science, but that seems to be a little bit of a, a turnoff. And, and our question is, why is it a challenge to call something Women in Science rather than People in Science? And, and that's where we're going to go, sort of looking at how we can work around or work through that by raising awareness for gender disparity in Denmark. <laughs>